Hello everyone, today I'll be speaking about three disappearances in national parks once again. Uh, in one of the cases, the body was found and the case was labeled a homicide and it's still open to this day. About the last video, um, I had final exams and presentations so I was a little busy. Um, so the quality of the video was not that great in terms of editing and just the whole overall research. Uh, so I do want to apologize for that. Uh, on a better note though, we just passed the 50 subscriber mark which I'm extremely happy about um that's just amazing i mean 50 people subscribe which is just 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 amazing um i do read your guys's comments so let me know down below um a comment from pill g angry bird um editing could be smoother better clips and pictures and less stuttering would make this better uh, along with less monotone use and storytelling voice uh, that's actually really good i didn't realize i started so much uh to listen to my voice and just okay i didn't i didn't pick up on that I'll, I'll pay more attention to that uh hopefully in this video i make the stuttering less uh, another good key point was the monotone voice what i usually do for these videos is i do the research then i just write up a google doc uh, and then i read off that google doc so usually when i read i have a monotone voice um and i thought that would make it more compelling i, I mean to be honest i don't know why i just do this monotone voice when I read. Um, I'll try to be more emotional in terms of what I'm reading. Uh, I like the, this type of comment. I mean, just let me know down below what, what I can do better. I want to learn. I mean, I want to learn from these mistakes. Um, if you guys think that my microphone is bad, let me know. I mean, I'll, I'll look for something far more expensive so I can do better audio control. Let me know down below. I rambled on for long enough. Um, sorry about that, guys. Let's get right into it. And also, guys, do like and subscribe if you already haven't. Our first case is about the disappearance of Peter Jackson. He was 74 years old at the time he went missing. He was a white male, 5 foot 10 inches tall, 155 pounds, blue eyes, gray hair, and beard, excellent physical condition, carrying a royal blue outdoor products backpack. The last time anyone heard from Peter Jackson is when he texted his son on the 17th of September of 2016, saying he was on his way to Yosemite. His vehicle was found at White Wolf Campsite No. 58 and his site was paid for until the 21st of September of 2016. Jackson is believed to have gone on a day hike from his campsite and never returned. Jackson is known to do moderate to strenuous hikes around five miles in length. It is unknown when he left or which direction he headed. He was in excellent physical condition with no medical concerns whatsoever. As of October 2nd, 2016, the search for Jackson was placed in continuous limited mode. In August of 2019, Jackson's backpack was found in Ackerson Meadow slash Aspen Valley area on the west side of Yosemite National Park. As of today, Peter Jackson is still considered missing and the case is still open. For any new clues. The next disappearance is about Floyd E. Roberts III. He was last seen on June 17, 2016. Roberts was 52 years old at the time he went missing. White male, 5 foot 11 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown slash gray hair, and brown eyes. First, let's go over the location of the disappearance. The area is very remote. It's on the western side of Arizona close to the border of Nevada. Looking at the image, it seems to be the same as the majority of the Grand Canyon in terms of greenery, dry and very humid. It's very remote, so getting lost is very, very easy. On Friday, June 17, 2016, 52-year-old Floyd Roberts III set out for a hike together with his friend Ned Bryant and Ned's daughter, Madeline Bryant. Floyd became separated from the companions during extreme heat conditions while starting a multi-day hike in a remote portion of the western Grand Canyon on the Shivwitz Plateau. The groom planned a nine-day hike that would exit the canyon via Separation Canyon. He was last seen near Kelly Tank heading towards the river but may have descended into 209 Mile Canyon. Following an intensive six-day search effort, the incident remains unsolved. The search for Floyd is still open. Our last missing persons case is not an actual missing person case. Rather, it is a case of who is this person. Recently, this person was identified due to the advancements in technology and DNA testing. In 1983, a family visiting Summit Meadow made a horrific discovery. While the kids enjoyed the glade, one stumbled upon a human hand and forearm. 
When investigators arrived, they guessed the arm had frozen over during the winter and recently thawed. Despite extensive searching, no other body parts were found until five years later. When a skull with no jawbone was discovered nearby, investigators combed missing persons reports and waited for someone to come forward with the tale of a long-lost relative. But no one did. Over the decades, there have been many attempts of creating an image using advanced technology. The image right now that you're looking at is what they created based on DNA. In 2022, Yosemite Park officials publicly announced that Jane Doe is Patricia Hicks. Patricia was born in the early 1950s in Washington. According to a 1971 article, her father was a cabinet maker and her mother a manager at Volumart. When Patricia was a junior in high school, her brother Edwin Hicks Jr., who was 23 at the time, took his own life while working aboard a Coast Guard vessel. Friends interviewed say the event was deeply traumatic for Patricia, who adored her older brother. Investigators have long believed Henry Lee Lucas killed the Summit Meadow victim as he confessed to the murder. Henry Lee Lucas was a serial killer that falsely confessed to over 600 murders, so his reliability is quite low. Though law enforcement stated that he had knowledge of the murder that was not known to the public. This does ask the question, was she actually killed by Henry Lee Lucas? Or was this murder done by someone else who was using Yosemite National Park as their dumping grounds for their victims? These stories are not just chilling, but also reminders to us to make sure that we are very careful. Not just in the wilderness, but also when we are walking down a street. Always be aware of your surroundings. I will say, the most dangerous animal is the human being. I give my condolences to all the family members of the victims in these stories, and I hope that for those who are missing, that their family gets the closure that they deserve. Once again, be careful, be safe, be aware.